Hey guys, if you follow this whole tutorial, this is what your game could look like by the end of today. Hey guys, this is Mr. Ninja Boy, and this is FPS Tutorial 6. Now, this tutorial is very highly requested because you guys really enjoy this series, and I wish to continue it. So, today we're going to get through a lot of new stuff. I'm going to teach you new stuff, but first of all, as usual, you have to go to link in down below in the description and just download this. Uh, this is basically all the assets we're going to use today in the tutorial. It's very important, so make sure you got this before we start and make a new project because I totally revamped all the scripts and everything. So. It's very important that you get this and then start a new project with all these new stuff. So uh, once you download this, I made it as a Unity as a Unity package format. So once you click on it, you're gonna get a decompression thing, and then you just press import, and you get all these stuff here. It's as simple as that. It's not any. It's not that complicated because before that, in previous tutorials, I got people complaining. It's really hard to import assets and all shit like that. It's it's really easy, but I made this even simpler. So. Yeah, there you go. So if you haven't watched my previous tutorials, I definitely recommend you to go and check those out and then come to this one or else you'd be really confused of how everything goes on, etc. I'm going to stop talking about this shit and then I'm going to get right to the tutorial. All right. So today we're going to get through lots of stuff and some stuff are going to be including like player damage sounds, um, a respawn. And also last tutorial, um, I showed you guys how to make prefab shooting and this tutorial I'll show you guys how to make raycast shooting now I don't know why I showed you prefab shooting it's raycast is much better in my opinion uh, so I'm just gonna go through raycast shooting and uh, other stuff so let's get started alright so we're gonna start off by making a radar showing where your enemies are in real time for the player so we're gonna start off by making a cube so we're gonna go to game object create other cube now this is basically just for the player indicator so we're going to resize this so it's on top of the player's head, but not colliding with the camera. Now, that's not going to work, obviously. So we're going to um, raise it a little. There we go. So as long as it's covering the whole player and you can't see any part of the player, it's good. And this is basically, yeah, just for the player indicator. We can thin it down a little bit. That doesn't matter. So I index this in a different way uh, when you download this project. So you go to Tutorial 5 and then open Tutorial 5 and then go to Textures. Once you've gone to textures, go to this player indicator texture and literally drag it onto the cube and that's what you do. So once you dragged it on, uh, you go to the side here and usually it's going to start off as bump diffuse and you're going to see that there's a black background. You wouldn't like that. But I, I keyed this image so then it's transparent. So you go to uh, this player indicator on the side and then go make sure it's on transparent bump diffuse. So go to transparent bump diffuse and it should work. There you go. So now we're going to rotate this so it's pointing towards the direction the player is going. So we're going to go to the transform and rotation Y90. There we go. So now we're going to just make sure the whole player is covered and nothing is visible. I, th I think we're going to have to resize it a little. So we'll do that. There we go. So I think that's going to be good. So now we're going to create a camera in which, uh, oh yeah, first we have to parent this to the main camera. No, to the first person controller, sorry. So once it parented to that, um, now we're going to render this uh, with a different camera itself. So you're going to go to the, click on the cube and then go to, because uh, if we play right now, if we press play, this is, I'll show you exactly what's going to happen. Uh, you look up and you can, ah! see, oh my God, you can see this whole thing and you don't want that rendered into your main camera. So what we're going to do to avoid this happening is, all right, so you're gonna go to your main camera um, and then go to this calling mask where it says calling mask, click on that and then go to click on uncheck the transparent effects uh, thing. So once you've done that, then uh, you're gonna go to your cube and then go to layer and then put transparent effects. So um, once you've done that, you can go to game tab just to see that it's not rendering in your camera. So if you put it back to default, your cube, the layer, and then it's there. So just put it to transparent effects um, and then press play. Just to see that it works, we're going to go to uh, play mode. And yeah, there you go. So now the radar is not being rendered in your camera, but it actually is still there. 
So now we're going to add a camera. So um, there's a radar, and you can see it onto your screen on your heads up display. So we're going to go to game object, create other camera. Um, once you got this, we're going to put it up uh, just because it's a camera. This is the right perspective. Uh, rotate the x axis 90 and uh, put it up. I'm not going to play around that much. It's still, it's a, just, it's just a tutorial video, but you guys can play around with it. Um, and perfect it. But uh, for now, this is good. And uh, we're gonna go to depth, where it says depth, and make sure it's over anything over one. For now, uh, sorry, over zero. So for now, I'm gonna put one. Uh, that's good enough. And then go to your parent this to first person controller, and then go to main camera. From there, you're gonna actually from camera from the camera we just made for the radar. Uh, you're gonna click on your game tab, and then go to normalized viewport rect, and drag that to the left uh, just if you want it to the right uh, then you if you want the radar to the right then drag it to the right uh, whatever direction you want so for now I want it to the left so to the left and I'm put up in the bottom so um, I'll put the width down or sorry uh, the height yeah I'm gonna put the height down so it's in the bottom left corner and then I can drag it you can you guys again could play around with this I'm not gonna mess around that much but it's good enough for now so uh, once you've done that, you're gonna go to uh, yeah, I think yeah, that'll that'll work out. So let's go to play mode and just check it out. All right, so yeah, everything's working perfectly. So let's just test. Uh, I don't know why it's glitching a little. It's kind of weird, but as you can see, the radar is working out perfectly. So yeah. Alright, so now I'll show you guys how to add the shooting sound. This was actually probably the most requested thing ever. You guys, um, all you wanted to know is to add a shooting sound, how to do it. It's actually really simple. It's a few lines of code, and um, I'll show you guys how to do it. And uh, if you are confused by anything, because I already showed you, I have shooting sound and everything, the AI, the player damage sounds and everything. Um, if you're confused of how I have it already, um, it's because I already set up the scene, so... I'm just gonna take out all this, take out the script and redo it right here. So I can show you guys how I did it. So we're gonna go to first person controller and then main camera. So this uh, shooting sound thing, basically, um, it's a script that that's attached to the main camera. So once you press the fire one button, which is uh, right click or sorry left click, then uh, it plays the shooting sound or whatever sound you choose. So uh, first of all, you're gonna go to your main camera. You're gonna add it. You're gonna add an audio source. So you're gonna go to main camera, add component, and audio, uh, audio source. So once you click audio source, uh, that's all you need to do. So uh, audio source, and then I also um, included a shoot sound. You can import your own, but I included one in here. So we go to gun. There it is. So you go to your main, um, main camera and then drag in the shoot to, uh, where is it? Audio source. So yeah, it's already there. So drag it into there and make sure you did that or else it's not going to work. So now for the script itself, you're going to go to uh, the script folder and then sound effects and uh, sound. So I'm just going to open it up and explain the script. It's really simple. Um, this These two variables are basically just to actually play the audio clip and uh, this is for the 3D sound and uh, this is the input input key registry is basically if input get get button down fire one which is your left click um, you can replace this with an, another key if you want to let's say um, R or like fire two which is right click anything you want basically and uh, audio play one shot which is play like once and doesn't loop uh, front 1.0 which is the volume so yeah, there you go. You can also edit the volume if you want. So it's a really simple script. And now we're going to parent the script to, uh, or make it a child of the main camera. So once it's there, we're going to have that. So uh, these two, by default, they're shoot. But if it's not, by de if there's nothing there, so if it's like none, then you're just going to drag in whatever sound you have. Make sure they're both the same or else it's going to be really weird. It's not going to be, um, it's going to be like, from the front, it's going to play a certain sound from the back, a different. So just make sure they're the same sound, and uh, yeah, it should work now. So we're going to go to play mode and uh, test it out if it works. There you go. Once you click uh, left click, uh, it works. The, the sound plays. All right, so now Raycast shooting. Uh, you might have seen that uh, 
I was playing the game and I had the Raycast shooting and all the sparks and you might have been confused but now I'm, I'm going to show you how to do it. So uh, we're going to go to script and uh, first go to main camera. So uh, now right now if I go to play mode let me just check that the script is not activated and yeah so I'm not going to be able to kill anyone. And uh, I'll show you guys how to implement uh, Raycast shooting so we're going to go to scripts, player, there should be Raycast shooting. So find the Raycast shooting script, and we're gonna actually never gonna use prefab shooting. If you want, you can actually delete it right now. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually delete it because I don't like prefab shooting. If you want to delete it, then you can do that. Um, we're gonna use Raycast shooting instead. So go to main camera and then drag Raycast shooting into the main camera. You'd think that we're gonna shoot from the gun, but it's actually from the main camera. It gives the image or the illusion that it's actually shooting from the gun, but it's actually from the main camera. So um, now the script is right here. So uh, basically, uh, this effect thing is basically when it hits a surface or anything, it collides with anything, it's going to give that effect off like sparks or something. So uh, I think I included, um, yes, I did. So I think I included a, a spark, um, what's it called? Particle. So I included a spark particle particle so it should be good so now we're gonna go to play mode and uh, let's test it out <laughs> all right so it's working as you can see there's some spark particles and this particle isn't actually that good uh, you can find some better ones online I guess or make them yourself I'm not that good with particles I never was I never was really good with particles so I didn't make a custom one but you can do that yourself so yeah um, it's working all right, so um, besides this new player stats thing that I made, which you can add, um, so we're gonna go through how to add, uh, when the player gets hit, he's gonna play a certain sound, like a damage sound or player hit when he loses health. So uh, I totally revamped the script, but uh, we're gonna keep everything the same in the first person controller uh, from the last tutorial, except for this. This uh, this script, we're gonna replace it with the old player stats. So I totally rebound the script with new variables and um, the ability to alternate between sounds when getting hit. So, um, and the play sounds go. So we're gonna, first of all, find the player status V2, uh, player stats, sorry, V2. So it should be anywhere here. Uh, there it is. So we're gonna drag that to the first person controller. I already did that. So it's right here so um, uh, we're gonna go to damage sound and then basically just drag in whatever sounds you've got um, for the damage I think I've got yeah I have some pre-made right here so if you go to sounds the tutorial 5 go to hit sounds and then it should be all here so uh, and they're actually pretty good sounds they're ro they're royalty free as well so that's good for your game if you're uh, looking to publish it so these you're gonna drag in um, you can make so this is basically um, it um, when you get hit it's gonna alternate into these sounds so you can have like from I wouldn't have more than 10 just uh, to avoid any performance issues but uh, I'd go to for like five or six I put six right here so it alter or sorry five oh no no six because uh, there's element zero I didn't see that but um, yeah it basically whenever you get hit it randomizes so it chooses one of these at random and they're all different sounds so yeah, uh, so just drag in whatever sounds you've got and you can increase the size if you want. And uh, the play sounds go, uh, you're gonna drag main camera to there, I already did that, and that's just gonna play from the main camera um, since we added the audio source and everything from there. And uh, shake go, I'm gonna go over that in the next tutorial and uh, die, that's a basically death sound, so you can drag that in too. And yeah, so let's, and this is also a damage texture. If, if it's not working for you, I'll show you how to do that next tutorial. So there's too much to go through in this tutorial. There's, uh, I'll just show you guys in the next one. But yeah, so uh, now once we play it and when we get hit by the enemy, I'll show you. Let's find an enemy. And ah! there we go. Ah! 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 And there you go. So you can hear the soldier getting hit and... Uh, yeah, it plays a sound. So now we're gonna go through adding a, a respawn menu. So once the player is dead, um, you're gonna see a button on your screen. Uh, once you click that button, uh, the player responds into its original position. So we're gonna go to scripts and uh, player and respawn menu should be here. 
there it is. So uh, we're going to go to first person controller and drag that right in. So respond menu, drag it into first person controller. I already did that. Or you can also do uh, add component and then search the script. There it is. So you can press enter, click on it, and it'd be right there. So look around number one is basically uh, first person controller. And look around number two it would be the main camera. So you can drag those in. Character controller is your first person controller, drag that in. Respawn transform is, oh yeah, I have to go through this too. So um, this game object, I just created it. So you go to, uh, just put, just go to game object, create empty. And so basically just creates a game object. So I'm gonna delete this one, cause I don't need it. And uh, basically what that is, is that's the respawn location. So respawn transform, uh, where is it? Gotta find it. Okay, there it is. So I can put this wherever I want on the map, and that's basically where the player is going to respond. So once you made a game object, an, an empty game object, go to first person controller, go to that, and just drag that right into there. So uh, where is it? There it is, and just drag it in, and that should work. So uh, we'll go to play mode and just test it. All right, so run into an enemy, ah! and I'll go. So once we're dead, uh, we can click respawn. The GUI button. There you go. We go to that uh, the spawn area, which I showed, and ah! the empty game. Ah! Ah! All right, great. So it's working. All right. So that is all there is to it to this tutorial. I hope you guys like this video, and be sure to leave a like because if you made all the way through it to this part, then I'm sure you liked the video, and I hope I helped you guys out in making your FPS game. Thanks for watching this video. See you guys next time.